हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज मी इरम गुल एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल केम ट्रैक्स बाय आईजीएम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिटेल्ड डिस्कशन ऑन कॉम्पोजिट्स एंड पॉलीमर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिरेमिक्स अ सिरेमिक इज एनी ऑफ द वेरियस हार्ड ब्रिटल हीट रजिस्टेंट एंड क्रोयन रजिस्टेंट मटीरियल मेड बाई शेपिंग एंड देन फायरिंग अ नॉन मेटेलिक मिनरल सच एज क्ले एट अ हाई टेम्परेचर सिरेमिक्स आर क्लासिफाइड एज इनऑर्गेनिक एंड नॉन मेटेलिक मेटीरियल्स दैट आर एसेंशियल टू आवर डेली लाइफ स्टाइल सिरेमिक्स एंड मेटीरियल इंजीनियर्स आर द पीपल हु डिजाइन द प्रोसेस इन विच दीज प्रोडक्ट्स कैन बी मेड क्रिएट न्यू टाइप्स ऑफ सिरेमिक प्रोडक्ट्स एंड फाइनल एंड फाइंड डिफरेंट यूजेज फॉर सिरेमिक प्रोडक्ट इन एवरी डे लाइफ so uh, just we studied that there are two different types of ceramics one is crystalline ceramic and the second is non crystalline ceramics basically crystalline ceramics material are not amenable to a great range of processing methods for dealing with them tend to fall into one of two categories either make the ceramic in the desired shape by reaction in situ in situ mean within the lab or by forming powders into a desired shape and then sintering to form a solid body so these are basically the types of crystalline ceramics second type of ceramic is non crystalline ceramics non crystalline ceramics being glass tend to be formed from the melts the glass is shaped when either fully molten by casting or when it is state of toffee like viscosity by methods such as blowing into a mold if later heat treatments cause this glass to become partly a crystalline the resulting material is known as glass ceramic widely used as cooktops and also as a glass composite material for nuclear waste disposal so these are the basically two types of ceramic one is crystalline ceramic and other is non crystalline ceramics there are uh, there are uh, some specific properties of uh, ceramics that uh, made them different or special from the other material like ceramic materials are usually ionic or covalent bonded material and can be crystalline or amorphous some ceramics are semiconductor most of these are transition metal oxides and are from group to four semiconductor four to six semiconductor such as zinc oxide under some conditions such as extremely low temperatures some ceramics exhibit high temperature superconductivity and ceramics are also optically active material so uh, these are the some properties of ceramics which make them different or which make them useful from other materials we have studied in our previous classes there are some examples of ceramics in our daily life a composite material of ceramics and metal is known as uh, cement other ceramic materials generally requiring greater purity in their makeup than those of above include forms of several chemical compounds uh, like uh, there are different compounds that are uh, different different um, chemical reaction or chemical material that are using to form uh, several types of ceramics and these types are these basic types of ceramics are examples of ceramics that are very useful for our life is basically include porcelain pottery earthenware material granite and sculptures there are some common uses of ceramics in our daily life ceramics are all around us this category of material includes things like tile bricks plates glass and toilets ceramics can be found in products like watches quartz tuning forks uh, at the time keeping devices in watches snow skies and uh, they are also used in automobile and phone lines they can also be found on space shuttles appliances uh, such as enamel coatings and airplanes or nose cones they are typically uh, ceramics uh, will demonstrate excellent strength and hardness properties however they are often brittle in nature apart from this property they are uh, used in our daily life in wide range of material around us ceramics can also be 
form to serve as electrically conductive material objects allowing electricity to pass through their mass are insulator material preventing the flow of electricity so ceramics can be used as a both type of material electrical conductor and insulator some ceramics like superconductor also display magnetic properties so uh, ceramics are also used as superconductors so uh, dear students uh, this is uh, basically the brief introduction of ceramics their example their uses and their types in our daily life subscribe my channel and keep watching and keep visiting my channel thank you goodbye